Welcome everyone. I'm Mark Waite. It's the platform special. This is the platform special interest group meeting. It's the 12th of September. Thanks for being here. Um, let's look over the agenda. I'm going to share my screen so that we can see it together. And here is what we've got for today. Uh, we'll talk about action items. I've got a brief topic on the plugin installation manager tool. Um, we'll put Shift Oleg's question about JCASC a little later. Uh, he's going to be late today. Then we'll ask Alex, did you want to give us a brief status update during the meeting on Docker MultiArch? Or is that one just to drop from the agenda? Sorry, I was on mute. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. About that. And then I think it's good for us to do a Windows installer status report. I've got a new topic to add related to Hacktoberfest as a, and how it relates to the platform SIG. And then we've still got, we've got a question with Oleg with regard to moving the configuration as code plugin from the cloud native special interest group to the platform special interest group. Any other items that need to be added to the agenda? Okay, I'll take silence to mean no. Let's go ahead then. So open action items, I continue to have my guilty one, opening the Jenkins Enhancement Proposal for Docker Operating System Support and Platform Selection Rules. Um, it, it is very much needed. I apologize that it's not done yet. We are working with the governance board to, Tracy Miranda has started the process of getting a, a additional people added so that Jenkins enhancement proposals can be um, approved and processed through. So there are some positive steps there, but I've still got to submit the JEP itself. Likewise, Oleg's got the action item to submit one, su submit one for Windows support policy. Then Alex, we had one for you on code signing with Olivier Vernin. You want to give us a status report there? Yeah. So. Um filed a ticket with the um, the CDF uh, on the uh, things on github for this uh, trade updated that issue recently and requested some more information so we're just still kind of waiting um, on that ticket to be resolved uh, so that we have a code signing cert and now is that a ticket that's out in the public so I could link to it yeah let me find the um, I, I will send you the um, the link. Great. All right. And when I asked uh, Olivier for a um, a status report, I failed to note that that we've already got a link to the release automation project and latest status. They are discussing specific details around release autom the Jenkins release automation project. Good. All right. That covers all the action items that I had recorded. So next topic then was the plugin installation manager tool. Natasha had created this as part of Google Summer of Code. And I'd, Alex had had some initial experience with it, had provided her some feedback. I now need it for a work project. So I'm gonna take, take up some additional experiments with it and I'll submit pull requests as I learn more. Um, I don't know what Natasha's availability is right now because I think she's resumed her studies at Penn State. And she was trying, I know she was trying to get a, a, a 1.0 release out, um, but probably with the start of the semester, it was just uh, um, a little bit much to do at, at this point. So she may be still planning to do a 1.0 with some changes. So, uh, well, and, and I saw that the tip of her master branch has some changes on it that I think I'll, I'll help her evaluate because. I think I've got some changes I may need, and one more tester is a good thing before she goes to one. Mm -hmm. So that's that's I'm I was really encouraged by it. It it seemed oh hey it's behaving well and it takes the right arguments and nicely done. So Alex, next topic Docker multi arch. 
So one of the kind of the action items from the previous meeting was to send out an email on the mailing list, and I did that, requesting people to um, to use the the different architectures if they if they had them. I've not we haven't really see, received any feedback yet. We wanted to get that feedback before we uh, merged into the main Jenkins um, organization on Docker Hub. So we're still kind of waiting for some feedback if there are any issues and things like that. Um, so now, and the, the Docker multi-arch, this is one where in order to use it, I would really need to have one of those alternate architectures and so by alternate architectures, it's Series 390, it's PowerPC, and help me out. What was the other? other um, ARM64 and ARM32. But, but in the case of ARM64 and ARM32, it's not my Raspberry Pi running Linux, for instance, where Java already works, right? It's something different in that case? No, it, it would be for the Raspberry Pi, it would be the ARM64 um, that, would, that should work. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. So, so Pi users like me can evaluate the ARM64 um, multi-arch Docker image. Correct. I, and it was this kind of the multi-arch stuff was kind of originally kicked off by a, a kind of like a request from Durgadas, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, there's a long period of time where um, it didn't get um, there are some issues in releasing the tag so I, I don't know how much he has been able to um, use it or if it kind of fell off the his kind of roadmap because it took so long to get that way so I haven't really heard we haven't really heard from him so um, I, I notated to him on Gitter at least but um, that those were available now, but maybe he has moved on or something, but he was kind of the one that was originally driving it. So I don't know if he's using it yet. Uh, I can try and reach out to him and see. Okay, thank you. Well, and, and knowing that I can, I can do some experiments with on my ARM, ARM platforms, that's, that's encouraging, great. Anything else on Docker Multi-Arch? No, that's all. Windows installer status, Alex? Um, so still working with um, Olivier about um, kind of merging it into the release process. Um, I created a PR against the packaging repository. Um, it will need some changes to get um, worked into his flow. I'm working with him on like a correct um, Docker image for build um, and for the release flow. Um, so he's he's kind of putting that into the um, Kubernetes um, setup that he's doing for the release stuff. And then we're waiting for the, the um, code insert. Great. And, and that was mentioned earlier, okay. Now, I saw this mention of Daniel Beck. I know we've got a security update coming out today that he had pre-announced. Um, anything, Anything there that we need to specifically highlight in this group? Not, not today. It's basically been things um, that people have filed against the current um, installer, um, just some issues there. And so I've tried to kind of pull in fixes for those into the new installer. Uh, so that, that's kind of what that was. Is, he had just provided some feedback about some things that people were concerned about, filed issues, security context for the current installer. Um, and so I've been trying to make sure that those items are addressed um, in the new installer. Ah, good, okay. Excellent, thank you. So thinking security from the outset, okay. Um, that's all for um, for that topic. Okay, now the Jenkins Docker image for Windows, you had done some work on that and I don't, I don't recall, did it end up in the, in the multi-arch image or no, um, that's a separate effort? For the master, I, I, it kind of, I put it on the sideline, I closed the PR um, just because 
with Docker, you would probably be running your master on Linux. Um, just and uh, there really isn't a reason to have a, a Docker Windows image. So I, there wasn't really a lot of um, uh, no one was really interested in that. So, so I just kind of um, closed that PR and, and put it on the sidelines. Great. Yeah, and we've got enough platform testing challenges trying to be sure that we continue running on all the various platforms. I'm all in favor of not adding one more. Super. All right. Anything else on Windows Installer? No, that's all. Uh, thanks, Alex. So next, we've got an upcoming event that's an advocacy event. Hacktoberfest begins, is sponsored by DigitalOcean and uh, Dev, and that Hacktoberfest is an opportunity for people to, to contribute to open source projects by learning how to do pull requests and by submitting pull requests. Um, the, the goal is to encourage people and they offer various forms of swag to encourage people to do it. We're going to do some promotional events at various places. I'm considering one in Colorado, for instance. And uh, the idea is to help people who are novices to submit their first pull request. And if they submit, I think the rules if they are, if they submit four, they get the uh, this special promotional t-shirt. And so we're looking forward to that event. You might be mindful of it in your area. See if there are ways that you, if you've got a Jenkins area meetup, you could consider promoting it there. Um, I think what I'm gonna try theme-wise here is get some platform theme things like, hey, bring in some Raspberry Pis or bring in some different operating systems, maybe a FreeBSD or an OpenBSD and invite people to help out. The other need that we have is we need people to go through the JIRA issues that are related to platform or otherwise and tag them with or label them with the newbie friendly label. And that's the one we'll use used for Hacktoberfest uh, issues and other newbie friendly themes. Any questions on Hacktoberfest? I don't think so. Now, Aiden, actually, you're an interesting case. Are you are you based? Where are you based physically? Are you in in, in India? In India. Ah, okay. So, are there <laughs> are there Jenkins area meetups anywhere? Near? No, actually, nothing. Nothing. Nothing near me. I mean, nothing. Absolutely nothing near me. It's usually held in Bangalore and uh, Pune. Uh, I'm based in Mumbai, so there's quite a a geographical gap, I think. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's a that's a, an interesting topic. I will see if I can look for, and would encourage you to look for people in Mumbai that you you might be able to encourage to. <clears throat> definitely, definitely. I'm more than happy to be helpful. Great. Thank you. That's super. So Oleg hasn't joined us yet. I'd be I'd tend to just delay this one until another time and uh, call that our session for today is complete unless Alex or Sladen, you have other things that you needed to discuss. No, I don't have any other topics today. No, and no, I think I'm done too. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, everybody. Just, just one question. Just just one question before we uh, like wind up uh, with respect to um, the cloud native special interest group is there anything happening over there i haven't seen meetings of the cloud native special interest group recently um, and one of the one of the reasons why this proposed move for the configuration as code efforts was from cloud native special interest group to to platform special interest group i'm not sure that the organizers of the cloud native special interest group are are currently actively doing meetings Okay, okay, sounds good. Cool. Yeah, because I was interested a bit to contribute maybe to the, since my community bridge project is ongoing and uh, maybe once that gets over, maybe next month around. So I was wondering if I could just contribute to the cloud native SIG. So yeah, good. thanks, thanks a lot for that. 
So, well, and, and that's your your community bridge project is. Yeah, yeah. Till once it gets over, I mean, the current project gets over, I would be interested in um, contributing to the cloud native SIG. Makes sense, Slayton. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. All right. I think we'll call our, call this a meeting for today. I'll stop the recording and we'll, I'll post a recording, a copy of the recording to the platform special interest group playlist on the Jenkins YouTube channel. Thanks everybody for being here. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot guys.